NBC's Sahil Kapoor now. Sahil, how would reconciliation work with the relief bills specifically? Shep, the short answer is that the Budget Committee would have to pass uh, reconciliation instructions, basically a piece of legislation that instructs the committees to uh, approve a reconciliation bill. And the key thing to know here is that only items related to taxation and spending can qualify under reconciliation, which, of course, bypasses the 60-vote threshold in the Senate. So things like $1,400 payments uh, direct to Americans could, could be included in that. Other COVID relief measures, including aid to state and local governments, potentially plus-ups on health care subsidies, could be included. But uh, separate matters, including things like immigration reform or gun control or even a minimum wage hike that Democrats want to do are considered more regulatory in nature and would be very difficult to do via reconciliation. On a separate matter, Sahil, we reported earlier that Senator Leahy was taken to the hospital. I understand you've been doing some reporting on that. Any update on his condition? We don't have an update on his condition, but we have heard from his close colleague, Senator uh, Dick Durbin, the number two Democrat, who said he was uh, admitted to the hospital out of a Durbin expects Leahy to be back in the Senate tomorrow. It's a, it's a significant development because Leahy is not only third in line to the presidency, he is presiding over this impeachment trial of former President Trump as we speak. So we're waiting to hear more on his condition, Chef. And we'll have those updates as we get them. And I understand you have new reporting tonight or did have new reporting on the future of Republican senator who may be calling it quits. What can you tell us about that? I spoke to Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin a few hours ago, and he has not decided whether he's going to run for re-election in 2022 when his seat is up. Now, Ron Johnson is completing his second term, and he had previously pledged to only serve two terms. He told me that he is revisiting that pledge and might consider uh, running for a third term because, in his view, circumstances have changed, and he views his seat as important to be held in Republican hands as a firewall. His word, not mine against Democratic control. He said he's probably not going to decide for another few months. He seems to be in no rush to make that decision. This seat, Shep, obviously going to be a big, big flashpoint in the 2022 midterm elections. Wisconsin is one of the most closely divided states in the country. And in the battle for the Senate majority, no. all eyes are going to be on Wisconsin. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.